Most best of Jose and Patricia welcoming you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home. Amen. Yes. We all need a home church. We yes. just don't want to. Well, I don't want to go here. But anyway, welcome uh, NBC family visitors and all those of you joining us by audio and video. Amen. Prepare yourselves to receive whatever God has for you. And you know what he's got for me? He's got good things. Yes. I don't know about you, and I don't know what you expect, but I expect good blessings, good yeah, things right, for right. me. Amen. He wants to bless you, encourage you, change you. And, you know, sometimes he has to correct us. Yes, he does. Because, you know, we start getting off side with distractions and things, you know. He wants to bring us back in the fold. Amen. Yes, he does. So praise God. And listen, I haven't said this in a while, but don't leave. Don't leave like you came. Yes, leave change. Leave a new person. Amen. Yes. Amen. Praise God. I just told the church family here, you know, you change your attitude. Yes. If you want to change your attitude, change your attitude to have a winning attitude. Absolutely. Amen. Yeah. And not a losing attitude. Yeah. I'm a winner, not a not a loser. Amen. I'm a I'm a victor, not a victim. But you got to tell yourself these things. Amen. It's the power of the words in the power of the tongue. It says life and death. Positive wow. or negative, you choose what what you speak. Amen. He has great plans for you. None of them include defeat. Be available to him. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens yes, us. Yes. Greater is he that is in me than he yes. is in the world. Amen. No matter what they win, what 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 the world brings. Yes. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm an overcomer. Yes. You got to confess these things for yourself. Yes. You know we've been confessing losing things all our lives. You know, and it's time we change that. I don't care what the family says. I don't care what so-and-so says. You know, I'm going to confess what the Word of God says. If yeah. they don't like it, then they can go somewhere else. Amen? Yeah. So praise God. Anyway, prepare yourselves to receive. i got a nugget for you I want to read to you before we go. And it's just like this. Don't let the words that come out of, your, of another person's mouth, don't let the words out of another person's mouth uh, create a storm in you. Right. Amen. Draw from the peace that's inside of yes. you. Amen. Draw from the peace, from the joy that you have inside of you. And don't let somebody else dictate how your day's gonna go. Man, that just that just bores me, you know. That just, that just messed up my day. No. <laughs> Why would you do that? Why would you let somebody do that? And you know what? The enemy knows and he's gonna see to it that somebody you face is gonna tell you something, it's just gonna cross you. So I'm 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 already prepared for that, you know. I say, Well, praise God, God bless you. He gave me some of his, I'll give him some of mine. God bless you. Amen. You have a good day. Yes. But I'm not going to be moved by what they say. I'm going to be standing on what the Word of God says. And I'm going to have a blessed day. Amen. Woo, this is the Lord. Lord yes. This is the day the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. No matter what they say. I'm not going to let my love, my peace leave me because of what, what someone says. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Amen. Woo, man, Lord, 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 Lord has great things for us. Amen. Yes, He does. And none of them include defeat. That's Grab right. your Bibles. Right. Amen. Amen. Grab your swords, yes. soldier of God, yes. <laughs> warrior of God. Uh, Remember, uh, we're warriors, not uh, warriors. That's it. <laughs> warriors with an A. Amen. Okay, not warriors. We some of us are warrior champions. You know, we we gotta change that. We're yeah. warriors for God. Amen. That's, that's the way He sees us. That's yes. the way we gotta see ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So make this declaration together. Amen. Yes. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do. Today, I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. I'm growing from day to day. Yes. I'm moving on. I'm climbing that ladder. You know, my spiritual ladder. You don't want to stay at the bottom all the time. You got to climb up. You, you got to mature. Yeah. You know, when you start maturing and confessing the word of God, the enemy's going to flee. Yeah. Your faith is going to grow, and your fears are going to go. Yes. Amen. But you have to do something. Yeah. You got to put some action, put some put some faith in your stepping. Eh? Amen. I want to step on, but I'm going to put some faith in those steps. Amen. Amen. Says, the just shall live by faith. faith. Amen. Praise God. So, hallelujah. <clears throat> I wrote myself a note and I forgot where I put it. <laughs> amen. So praise God. Yes. Ease up and let God have you. Amen. That's it. Let him bless you. Amen. Praise God. We have a few slides for you. Happy Sunday. Happy Palm yes. Sunday. We'll keep going. Yeah. Here we go. Palm Sunday. They took palm branches. We're going to be talking about you know, the Holy Week. Uh -huh. They took palm branches and went out to meet him and shout. 
Hosanna. I hope you can see that. It says, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Yes. Blessed is the king of Israel. Amen. So our title today is Jesus' is triumphant entry. entry. He comes into Jerusalem and they, you know, worship him. They praise him and worship him as king. Amen. So praise God. Hallelujah. Keep going. I've got a few of those. This is today is Palm Sunday, which marks Jesus' triumphant entry into Jerusalem. It is also the beginning of Holy Week. Yes. Amen. So we're going to be talking about that. Some yes. about that. Amen. Keep going. Praise Here we go. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Man, he had a first parade. They had a parade for him when he was walking into Jerusalem. <laughs> Keep going. One more. There we go. It says, this is the day the Lord is made. Rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice in the Lord this Palm Sunday. Rejoice in the Lord and be glad each and every day. Amen. You know, I don't have to think about it. I woke up mm -hmm. and I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. But you don't know what's facing me. Well, whatever is facing you, bigger, greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Amen. We talked about this last week. There's nothing bigger than our God. Amen. So you tell your problems how big your God is. Don't tell God about, oh, I got big problems. Amen. You tell your problems. And speak to him. He says, man, my God is bigger than you. Yeah. Amen. Praise God. That's what David told the giant, the Goliath, you know. Keep going, coming. Hallelujah. We're, we'll leave it right there. Jesus came. And uh, my favorite story on uh, Palm Sunday, the little boy was sick, so he stayed home with mom. Dad went, went to church. And he came back holding a palm. And the little boy was curious. He asked, why are you holding that palm, uh, palm branch, Dad? And quoting the pastor, he says, Jesus came into town. Everyone waved palm branches and honored him. So we got some palm branches today. And the little boy says, oh, man, you know, I missed one Sunday and Jesus shows up. Yeah. We, yeah. Need, we need to take note. Yes. Because, you know, those Sundays you missed, <coughs> Jesus showed up and you weren't here. Yeah. I say, oh, man, I don't want to miss any. That should be our attitude. Amen. But not only in church on a daily basis yes. at home wherever you happen to be at amen, amen. Yes. welcome him amen hallelujah he, you, you woke up it's time to spend time with him and says thank you lord for waking me up yes. man he gave you a special call he woke you up he says wake yes. up amen he woke you up amen. so praise <coughs> God. hallelujah so it's not just on sundays okay. you know it's not just when you come to church on sundays that's going to save you it's a daily basis mm -hmm. Is a daily attitude of worshiping yes. Him, serving Him. Amen? Yeah. Ooh, come on now. Yeah. Little boy says, I missed one Sunday and Jesus shows up. But don't you miss Him. Yes. Amen? Yes. On a daily basis, you know? Set your priorities where you seek Him first uh -huh. and not, oh, you know, i got a busy schedule. No, no, and no. I can't go to church, Pastor, because no. I worked so hard during the week. No. I ain't got time. The weekends, I just rest. Is that right? Okay. <laughs> Well, me too. Except I don't make I, I can't make excuses because I gotta be here to share the message. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that don't work. So all four gospels, including uh, yeah. uh, include this event mm -hmm. in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, they all share the same thing. So Jesus came for three and a half years. He teaches through the word, through words and actions yes. about the kingdom of God. What is it gonna be like? What is it like? Mm -hmm. He says he goes to heal the sick, mend bones. Uh, Demons driven out or cast out, hungry or fed, listen to this. Mm -hmm. Forgive the unforgivable. Yeah. Love the unlovable. Mm -hmm. I'm sure you have run across a few of them. Oh yeah. We say, Lord, you oh, forgot yeah. about this person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just want to, you know, lay hands on them real good, you know, and then <laughs> we'll pray for them to be healed. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, right. it don't work that way. And the dead are raised up, you know. When we're talking about dead, we're talking about uh -huh. physically dead, yeah. like he rose to Lazarus, but also spiritually dead. Some yeah. of us have been spiritually dead for too long. Yeah. We need to wake up and receive life in us. Amen. By receiving him as your Lord and Savior. And don't let yourself go dead. Remember, stay connected to the source. Yeah. Stay yeah. connected yeah. to the power. You can't walk away from him and say, Well, you know, hey, I feel good. I have a, a prodigal son attitude. All right. No, no, no. Stay connected. Stay yeah. in touch. Stay focused on the, yeah. on Him. Stay focused in the things of God and do yeah. what He's called you to do. If it's not getting done, it's not because of Him. Uh -huh. It's because we've walked away. Right. 
Yeah. Amen. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Yeah. So where did you go? Mm -hmm. Remember the footprints in the sand? Uh -huh. He said, why did you leave me? I was only one, one, one set of prints. Mm -hmm. He said, yeah, I know. I was carrying you. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> we weren't carrying him. Yeah, he was yeah. carrying us. Yes. Well, praise God. Amen. Mm -hmm. Praise God. <laughs> this is a day of celebration. Jesus yes. is worshiping and praised. Jesus began his final week of ministry by entering Jerusalem among a triumphal in, triumphant entry, mm -hmm. a victorious celebration. They had a parade for him. Man, the king is here. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> mm -hmm. Multitudes greeted him, shouting hosannas, hosannas, amen, waving palm branches in their hands yeah. as he entered the city of Jerusalem. You'll probably hear this quite a few times, so just prepare yourselves. They celebrated knowing that Friday is coming. That's judgment day. That's crucifixion day. Mm -hmm. Knowing the cross is coming. Death, yes. burial, and resurrection. Yes. If you want to remember anything about Jesus, remember he died. He was buried. Yes. But he rose again. Yeah. Amen. We serve a risen Savior. Yes. We don't serve a dead Savior. Yes. We, we, we serve a risen Savior. Yes. You can't say anything about the other so-called gods that have died mm -hmm. and are still in their graves. Yeah. Our God rose. Jesus rose. Yes. Amen. <laughs> Many in the crowds a week ago uh, exchanged uh, words of worship and praise to uh, words of death. Same people. Same crowd. Yep. They're worshiping him now. They're talking about killing. Amen. You don't want to be in that crowd. <laughs> Ooh, a, week, um, a week shouting Hosannas and later shouting crucify him. Yeah. 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 We, oh, we can't be world pleasers. We gotta be God pleasers. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, King Jesus rides into Jerusalem in a in a donkey coat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Knowing that he was gonna that he was riding to his death. Yes. yes. Knew what awaited him. Yeah. How would you like to know that? How would you like to see in the future right. and know what's awaiting you? And you say, Well, I ain't gonna go in there, I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna fulfill that. No, he knew from the time he from the time the Father sent him, he knew he was going to be crucified. Amen. He knew he was going to be sacrificed. For God so loved the world that he sacrificed. He gave his only begotten son. Amen. And he knew, but you know what? He didn't back down. We need to get that kind of attitude on a daily basis. Amen. Where we're just gonna win. We're gonna succeed and not fail. That's his up to you. This is up to you, okay? He's already given us all the tools we need. Amen. But we need to stay focused yes. on these things. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. I'm going to succeed. I'm going to have a triumphant day. Why? Because the word of God says. And I'm confessing him. I'm confessing his word. And I'm standing on his word. And not what people say. Or not what uh, Dow Jones says. Or not what uh, CNN says. Amen. Yeah. And we're going to be successful. I'm going to be successful. And I'm going to confess what the word of God says and focus Amen. on his word and not what Thank the world is saying. Amen. Amen. Yes. So he knew he was going to his death, but he didn't back down. And still, when he was crucified, he told the Father to forgive him for what they've done. Man, that's 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 the strongest man alive. Yes. Amen. To say those things. Praise God. So Jesus triumphal entry. If you open your Bibles to Matthew 21, like I said, all four Gospels talk about this. But if you open your Bibles to Matthew uh, chapter 21 and verse, we're going to read verses 1 through 11. Amen. Yes. And mine starts off with uh, the triumphant entry. I guess you can name that the triumphant entry. When they drew nigh unto Jerusalem and would come to Bethphage <laughs> unto the Mount of Olives and sent Jesus to disciples, saying to them, Go into the village or against you. And straightway ye shall find an ass, or donkey, what it called, tied, and a colt with her. Mm -hmm. Loose them, and bring them to me. And if any man says aught unto you, he shall say, The Lord hath need of them. And straightway he will send, he will send them. And all this was done. And it was that, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet, saying, Tell ye daughters of Zion, behold, thy king cometh unto thee meek and sitting on an 
ass and a colt and a foal of an ass. The disciples went and did as Jesus uh, commanded them. And they both, they brought the ass and the colt and put them on uh, their clothes. Put them their clothes and they sat on, on their own. A very, and a very great multitude spread their garments in the way. Others cut down branches from the trees and straw them in the way. And the multitude that went before and that followed cried, saying, Hosanna to the, to the son of David. Blessed is he that cometh in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. And when he, had, and when he was come unto Jerusalem, all the city was moved, saying, Who is this? And the multitude said, This is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth of Galilee. Amen. So praise God. Amen. This is just a, one of the Gospels. All four Gospels. I mentioned it, okay? But straightway, they was having a parade for Jesus. Amen. And received him. During this holy week, he enters Jerusalem as an exalted king. They see him. They welcome him as a king. A high, glorious, noble, and dignified. A week later, he's rejected and crucified by the same people. The crowd has seen Jesus called the crowd has seen Jesus called Lazarus back to life and told others. So many came because they heard he's a miracle worker. He he does great miracles. He does mighty miracles. So they came to see, you know? During this week, many turn, mock, and ridicule him. Amen. He was ready for all this. You gotta prepare yourself on a daily basis. What's coming at me? Whatever storms of life, whatever uh, the world brings against you on a daily basis, guess what? I'm ready for it. <coughs> Why? Because, Lord, I make you Lord of my life. I seek you first. And I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm an overcomer. I can yeah. overcome these things. And I'm going to rejoice and be glad in whatever comes my way. Amen. So this Holy Week starts on a Thursday. The Lamb of God gives us a new commandment. It's to love God and love one another. Yeah. Amen. The Last Supper is the final meal that Jesus shared with his apostles in Jerusalem before the crucifixion. Jesus washes the disciples' feet. It was just before the Passover festival. Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave this world. He was warning them the whole time. He was telling them the whole time and they were still surprised. They still can't believe it. Matthew 20 and 28 says this. This is one of my favorite scriptures says in the Amplified it says this just as the son of man and we got camps here on the son and man did not come to be served but to serve and to give him his life a ransom for many yes. Yes. basically it says paying the Amplified says paying the price to set them free from the penalty of sin penalty of sin is what mm -hmm. death yeah, yeah. amen the wages yeah yes so Jesus came to serve, not to serve. He's showing us, he shows us examples of how to serve. If you're going to serve, you know, have an attitude of Christ. Have an attitude of Jesus and not myself. I'm not doing this to get a pat on the back. I'm not doing this for glory. Right. I'm doing this because yeah. I'm doing it unto him. Yeah. If you're going to do anything, Colossians 3 and 23 and 24 yeah. tells us, you know, if you're going to do it, do it as unto Christ. Yes. Do it as unto Jesus and not unto yes. man. Yes. Amen. Yes. If you're just doing it for man and uh -huh. get the glory from what man can uh -huh. give you, uh -huh. you're doing the wrong thing and you're yeah. serving the wrong way. Right. You're doing unto him, Lord. You know, I prepared myself before I came here. I prepared myself before I go anywhere. Lord, this is the day you have given me. I'm going to rejoice, be yes. glad in you. And Lord, I want to serve you in a mighty Amen. way, Father yes. God. No matter what people Thank say, you. no matter what happens, I'm going to serve uh -huh. you. Uh -huh. Amen. And God's going to use you mightily. Yeah. And God's going to bless you abundantly. Amen. Amen. So for you, he predicts his betrayal. Jesus uh, predicts uh, Peter's denial. We're going to read that in a few minutes. And we have the scripture here up here that John 14, 6 is mm -hmm. John uh, King James Version. And it says, Jesus says unto him, I am the way, I am the, way. the truth, the and the yes. life. No man, yes. we're talking man, woman here, okay? It's just a, a thing. He yeah. says, no man cometh to the fa unto the Father it's but by me. So I don't know what plans you have or what you've heard 
But what you've been taught is time to get all them mindsets re yes. re redone. Amen. Amen. There's no way to the Father. There's no way to God except through Jesus. Yeah. So you got to receive Jesus to go through the pot. Amen. Amen. And uh, there's no other way. You can't pay your way. You can't <laughs> earn your way. <laughs> you, uh -huh. can't, you can't do any other way. Amen. Right? Ain't no, ain't nothing else is going to get you there except receiving Jesus. Yeah. Keep yeah. going. I got, I got the next one. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. <laughs> You know, there's a gap between man and God. Yeah. There's a big gap. Yes. But Jesus fills the gap. Yes. And the only way to get to the other side, uh -huh. heaven, to the Father, is yeah. through Jesus. Yeah. Amen. You see this big cross? It's got Jesus Christ on there. Uh -huh. That's the only way you're going to get there. there. Ain't no other way. And yeah. I don't care what you've been taught. So yeah. it's time to reteach yourself. <laughs> and, and do what the Word of God says. Amen. Learn the Word. And do the Word. That's Amen. It. And receive Him. Amen. Some of you, it's time. Mm -hmm. Okay, you've gone too far. It's yeah. time for you to just say, "Don't, yes. <laughs> I've sinned against you." He already knows this. Yes. He just wants you to confess. Yes. If you confess mm -hmm. with your mouth, yes. Amen, and believe in your heart yeah. that He's He's Jesus. He's He's the King of Kings yes. and Lord of Lords. Lord Amen. So, Amen. Thank you, Lord. again, up there on top, it just says in small letters. I don't know if you can see them, but it says, "Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm -hmm. No man." Coming through the Father, but by me. That's John, four, um, John 14, 6. 14, 6. Amen. So there's a big gap. Yes. And you can't mend that gap by yourself. That's you can't it. buy your way. You, got, you need Jesus. That's the only That's thing in, in the gap. Amen. He fills the gap between Amen. God and yes. sin. Sin. Yes. Woo! Hallelujah. Amen. Again, John 14, 26. Jesus promised the Holy Spirit. He says, but the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring you or bring to you remembrance all things that I have yes. said to you. Yes. Amen. So hey, when, before I get up here, I always say, Holy Spirit, help me remember what I have to say. Yes. <laughs> and you, I know you're praying for me. I need to pray. I, 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 need, I need all the prayer I can get. Amen. John 15, this is good chapters here. John 15, 1 and 2 says this. Jesus says, I am the true vine. My father is the vine dressing. Uh -huh. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, mm -hmm. he taketh away. Yes, he does. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes. Yes. That it may be that it may bear more fruit. More fruit. Yes. Amen. So praise God. I want to stay attached to, yes. to him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. John 15, 18 says, uh, the world haters. He tells us this so we can know, encourage us. He says, if the world hates you, yeah. remember this. Know Amen. that it hated me first mm -hmm. before it hated you. Yes. So I'm going to fix this. I already know this. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm not there to please somewhere else. That's I'm it. there to please God. Yes. And I'm going to be there to serve him Amen. and fulfill whatever it is he's called me to do. Amen. All of us have a calling. Mm -hmm. Are you willing to answer the call? Yeah. That's up to you. It's your choice. Mm -hmm. But you... Be best if you answer the call. Yes, yeah. <laughs> you don't want to stand before yes. him saying, well, you never answer yeah. the call. Yeah, I want him to say, depart from me. I never knew you. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I'd rather him say, yeah. well, done. well done, good and faithful yeah. servant. Yes. Amen. That's what I want him to say. I want him to say, same thing, yeah. same thing about you. Yes. We must be willing and able to continue the works of Jesus in the world, sharing what the kingdom of God should be like yes. through our words and our actions. Mm -hmm. I've said this many times, and you can write this down. Uh -huh. Some people may never come to a building. Mm -hmm. Some people may see the closest thing to a Bible, and that is you. Yeah. Amen. A believer, a child of God. We are the church. We are yeah. the body of Christ. Amen. Mm -hmm. So they might see you, but they'll never step in here, yes, but they'll right. see you wherever you happen to go. Mm -hmm. I'm traveling and I'm going places and seeing people and doing things. Yes. You're the closest thing to a Bible they'll ever see yes. or ever hear. Yes. Are you saying anything? Yeah. You've got to say something. Yeah. It's the only way they're going to hear. It's the yes. only way they're going to get the word in them. Yes. When they hear, now I know, yes. they hurt the word. And that's the word is seed. It's a seed. Yes, it is. And when their seed goes in, it's, it's planted. Yeah. And it's going to grow. Amen. God's going to give the increase. You know, he's going to give the increase. So 
We don't try to convert them ourselves and try to change them ourselves. We just plant the word. Yeah. We just plant the seed. God's going to take care of the rest. Amen. We can water it. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm blessed. I, I, I'm preaching better than amen in there. <laughs> Jesus is, is betrayed by Judas. Yeah. One of his disciples. For 30 pieces of silver. <laughs> Denied by his closest friend Peter three times. Yep. Abandoned by every one of his followers. Yeah. Man, what happened to all my followers? Yeah. Remember, he's looking for followers, not fans. Yes. We talked about that last week. What happened to all my followers? You look around and they're all gone. <laughs> yeah. He's dragged away as a criminal for committing no crime. And a crook uh, killer is released in exchange for him. That's right. <laughs> the silent, innocent king stands in front of an earthly power where he is beaten, sped on, and found guilty. Yes. Amen. <laughs> so Good Friday's here. Jesus will have a crown of thorns placed on him. He is the king. So he gets a crown of thorns slammed on his head. I'm not talking about it. they just laid it on his head. Oh, no. I mean, they jammed it on his head. We see blood coming down, and we're talking about thorns. We're not talking yes. about little goat head stickers, you know. <laughs> we're talking right. about thorns and jammed, yeah, jammed in his head, rammed wow. in his head. Oh, you want to be king, so let's crown you. Yep. Nails driven through his hands and feet. Jesus is crucified, executed for you and me. Amen. For us. Yes. Now we're born again. All of, though all of us that are born again, we have a ministry of reconciliation. Amen. Of bringing the good news to a lost world. There's a lost world out there. Negative people everywhere. You turn the TV on, the radio on, whatever you want to turn on, it's negative. Yes. And it's bad. Yes, it is. Or you go hear people talk, and it's bad. Negative. So, you're the good news. You're the closest thing to the Bible they'll hear. And don't hold it inside of you. They're not ashamed to say these things, so don't you be ashamed to say, hey, That's it. you know, God loves you. You need to receive Him, you know. You need to receive Him. He was executed for us, and we have a ministry of reconciliation. We also ambassadors, his mouthpiece on earth. He's the head, and we're the body. Yes. And we go and we speak and we share. Amen. Yes. We're yeah. his ambassadors on earth. Praise God. Don't betray Jesus like the disciples, seeking things instead of him. Right. Seeking the blessings instead of the blesser. Yes. We fall in love with the blessings. And we forget about him. Right. Amen. The prodigal son says, Dad, give me what's mine. Give me have my blessings so I can go. And he took off. Then he found out he did wrong. <laughs> Some of us know this and we need to come back home. Amen. Amen. Some of us need to say, Lord, I did wrong. I did you wrong. It's time to come home. And you know what? He's not going to hold you back. He's going to welcome you with open arms. It's like his prodigal son's father received him back home. Come. Let's continue. You know, dust you off. Put on a new robe. Put up some new shoes and, and yeah. whatever else. You know, put a ring in his, in his hand. And, and, you know, it's time to press on. Okay, so you did that. Now it's time to get up and time to press on. Keep going. And then you can do, the Bible says you can do all things all through right. Christ who strengthens you. Amen. Seeking things instead of peace and understanding. We're seeking peace from other things. We're seeking other things instead of seeking Him. Making excuses for not assembling ourselves together. <laughs> I can't make excuses. I got to be here. The Lord gave me a message, so I got to be here every time, every time, every time. Praise God. Thank God, you know what? I'm healthy enough to be up here every day or every Sunday or every time He wants me to preach. Amen. Yes, and all, us, you know what? You get to go and preach on a daily basis wherever you get work, wherever you shop, wherever you, ha you happen to go. That's you bringing the word, bringing the Bible, bringing the, the good news of the gospel to all the people around you. 
I can't go where you go. That's it. Amen. But you go and you bring him to a lost world. Amen. Yes. Come on there. It's not just about church building here. Right. It's about every day. You go. Amen. Right. Making excuses for not serving him or his people. Well, you know, I served, I've taught the helps ministry, and a lot of people say, Hey, I just come to church to yeah. sit. I don't I, I work all week, that. I come to church, I don't come to sit, and I don't want nobody nobody bothering me. And I don't want to serve nobody. Mm. I've had people tell me that. Mm -hmm. No, you know, just tell God. He knows you already. Yeah. He knows about you. Yeah. It's time we get humble. And yeah. say, you know, yeah. just say, put that very that, you know. Yeah. And say, no. If Jesus did it, we can do it also. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And don't never say, mm -hmm. I ain't got nothing to give. That's because it. you got lots to give. Yeah. yeah. Amen. Jesus came and he gave his life for us. So don't ever say, I can't. Because every time, he, it, ever since the Bible started and began, mm -hmm. there was always an excuse. I can't talk. I can't, I don't know how to build a, uh, uh, an, an ark. What's an ark? You know, all these things. People always making excuses. It's time. God knows them all. So we need to stop. We're not fooling him. We're fooling ourselves. Just press on. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. <laughs> Quit making excuses. Amen. Don't abandon him like the disciples going through our daily lives as if Jesus never existed. Hey, the COVID is here. Oh, we got to get our shots. You know, we got to get this. The flu is here. Whatever season is here, you know, we got to do it. Prepare ourselves for hurricane season. We got to prepare ourselves for storm season. We got to prepare ourselves for everything. But Jesus said he's coming. He said, ah, you know. One, one of these days, we, we don't care about that. Going about our daily lives as if Jesus never existed. He's never coming back. You know, hey, this is life, you know. You live and you die, and that, that's the end of it. Wrong. <laughs> it's only the beginning. You want to wake up in heaven, or you want to wake up in hell. Yeah. The choice is yours. Mm. He's given us the choice, and he's not going to force us. Okay, he's not going to force your will. You gotta do it yourself. And you're gonna either receive him or reject him. But you're gonna do one of the two. And there's nowhere else to go but up or down. The choice is yours. <laughs> right. Denied him like Peter. Jesus paid the price for our salvation. We still reject and disobey and abandon him. This conquering king Jesus rode on this donkey and climbed up and climbed up that tree and and died for for you. So that you may experience the abundant life. Yeah. Where the eternal life mm -hmm. in heaven. Uh, John 10.10 10 says in, in the, well, the whole scripture. Keep going. Mm -hmm. I've got it in two ways. The latter part of the John 10.10 10 says, I have come that you might have life and have it more abundantly. Yes. Mm -hmm. the, the whole scripture, John 10.10 10 is this. Keep going. It says the thief, the devil, Satan. Does yes. not come except to steal yes. and to kill and to destroy. Mm -hmm. Now Jesus says, I have come that you might have life, life. and that you might have it more, more abundantly. Yes. The choice is yours. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. The choice is yours. Yes, it is. The only the gospel is the good news offer this. The lost and the blind world cannot offer it. Fortunes, fames, families, friends cannot buy it. Mm -hmm. You can only get it through Jesus. Yes. The shed blood of Jesus, knowing that He's called, equipped, and gifted you. If yes. you don't know this, it's because you don't know Him. That's it. There's no relationship. Mm -hmm. You know what Christianity is about? Mm -hmm. Christianity is about relationship. Mm -hmm. You get to know your God. Yes. Your God already knows you. Amen. But that's Christianity. Yes. Religion is just man made. Mm -hmm. <laughs> A lot of men, a little bit of God. Mm -hmm. Something that you can never live up to. Yes. Something that you can never accomplish. Mm -hmm. That's religion. I'm not religious. I'm a Christian. I'm a believer. I'm a child of God. Amen. But if you know him, you'll know that he's got a call on you. Mm -hmm. You know that he's equipped you and called you to serve. Amen. Amen. And serve, serve his people. Mm -hmm. Amen. So he's not just sitting down and saying, oh, I just want to do nothing. You know, be idle. No, you can't be idle. Hot, cold. But he said, lukewarm, 
He says, I'll spit you out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. Another book, translation says, I'll vomit you oh, out of my mouth. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't want that. Mm -hmm. And knowing that you can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. <laughs> I missed it, Lord. I'm sorry. I, I confess. Confess yeah. your sins. Get them out of you. He says, yeah. he'll forgive and forget. And some of us are still hung, hung up on uh, mm -hmm. about whatever sins we're, uh -huh. we're holding on to. He says, if he forgives and forget, why are you still holding on to it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you've confessed it, let it go. Mm -hmm. It's time to get up and yeah. go on. Yeah. Press on. Press on, he says. Amen. Knowing you can do all things through Christ. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Inviting everyone to church. Mm -hmm. Inviting everyone who are assembling ourselves together. Yes. Being a minister of reconciliation, yes. being his ambassadors, wherever you happen to go. Right, amen. Amen. I guarantee amen. you, wherever you happen to go, you hear people oh, yeah. saying negative things. You hear people cussing. Mm -hmm. You hear doing all oh, kinds of amen. negative things. Yeah. So why can't you share Jesus? Mm -hmm. <laughs> amen. Hey, right, don't say amen. those things, you know, that, that I'm, uh, I'm offended. Well, I'm mm -hmm. offended by your words, too. Mm -hmm. Amen. But it's not going to stop me. That's the passion amen. of Jesus' story should change the way we think live and serve him yes amen, amen. amen. this is what you want this is the passion mm -hmm. when you think about what jesus went through yes and what i want to change uh, to be uh, like uh, i want to be changed the bible says in, in ephesians 5 and 2 5 1 and 2 in the uh, amplified it says to be imitators, imitators of him yes be imitators of christ mm -hmm. amen well i can never change <laughs> but then you don't know my jesus amen yeah. Because you can change. Yes, you can. Amen. You quit making excuses. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Quit making excuses. Change the way we think by getting in the word and start confessing the positive things and not the negative things. The way you live, the way you hang out, and by serving him. Amen. He's pleased with you serving him. Big or small, it doesn't matter. As long as you serve him. Yes, amen. Okay. If the cross, the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus does not make you realize the love of God, the Bible says John 3 16, for God so loved the world that he sacrificed, he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. I mean, if this doesn't make you change we need to pray for you yeah yes yeah, yeah, yeah. and there's hope for all of us yes there is i don't care what so and so says mm -hmm. there's no more hope for you mm -hmm. there's hope for all of us all of us for god so loved the world yes. he died you know that person that you don't like <laughs> ah! jesus just think about this jesus died for them too yeah. he did yes amen just because you got an attitude and don't like this person or mm -hmm. that person mm -hmm. just think about this jesus is reaching you Jesus is coming to you yes. and, and, and wanting to use you to reach that unlovable person. Mm -hmm. Because he says, I died for them too. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world. That means all people. Yeah. Not yes. just some people. Yes. All people. So we can't pick and choose who to minister to. Right. Amen. You just share it, share it. We need to have our heads and our hearts examined on a daily basis. Get yourself right with Him before you go anywhere. Yes. If you leave your place, your home, or wherever you happen to be, if you leave without spending time with Him, the world's going to eat you up. Yep. Amen. You ain't no match. Amen. You ain't no match to the world. Right. You're no match to the enemy. Mm -hmm. You got to get yourself right with Him. Yeah. Yeah. Get your priorities right. Get yes. yourself right with him before you go anywhere. Or else yeah. you're just going to drop. You're going to fall. Part-time Christian is no match to a full-time devil. Part-time Christian is no match to a world out there. That's it. Amen. Part-time Christian is no match to the Goliaths that are facing you when you step out the door. Mm -hmm. Amen. Or wherever you happen to be going yes. or at. Amen. Yes. We need... <laughs> If you don't have any of this, we need to get saved. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you don't know any of this, you need to get saved. Mm -hmm. And it's real easy. It says you need to confess with your mouth. Yes. It didn't say mine, your, mm -hmm. your mother, your mom, your father, your family, anybody else, or your pastors. It says confess with your, your mouth. mouth. 
-hmm. We need to do this. You know, if Jesus can go through what he went through, mm -hmm. we can at least confess with our mouth and says, yes. Lord Jesus, I've yes. sinned against you. Right. Come in my heart, be my Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. And he will in a heartbeat. But all yes. it takes is one word, all yes. it takes is one step to go the other way. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Hosanna, blessed is he who come in the name of the Lord. So, we ain't going to finish this. That's all right. <laughs> this is an eventful, an eventful Holy Week. Mm -hmm. Jesus was crucified. begins with a tremendous exaltation. Mm. Have some uh, accompanied him for the last three and a half years. He is recognized as the coming Messiah. Mm. They have received him as the coming king. By the end of the week, the majority rejected him. Yeah. Mocked him. Ridiculed him crucified him as an imposter and a criminal. Yeah. Wow. Mm. If this don't turn your heart. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Some of us need to get born again. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> their hearts turned away, no longer seeking him as their pro uh, uh, promised king. Yeah. One of the disciples Betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver. Open your Bible to John thir uh, 13. I want to read it to you from the Amplified. John chapter 13. Remember all the Gospels share about the triumphal entry. Amen. John 13. Gospels. John 13 verses 26 through 30. having uh, last supper and he dismisses uh, Judas but 26 says Jesus answered it is the one whom I am going to give this morsel or this a bit of food after I have dipped it so when he had dipped the morsel of bread into the dish he gave it to Judas Simon's Iscariot son then after he had taken a bit of food Satan entered him or Satan entered into and took possession of Judas. Mm -hmm. Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do more swiftly than you seem to intend, and make it quick work of it. Yeah. Immediately dismissed him and says, Go do what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah. He already knew. Yeah. Amen. But says Satan entered him quick. Mm -hmm. Amen. So we must remember this. Also, um, Jesus, uh, Peter denied Jesus three times. Uh, just go down the road there a little bit. Uh, verses 36 and 38. <clears throat> I'm going to read it in the Amplified also. 36 and 38. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered, you are not able to follow me now where I'm going. But you shall follow me afterwards. Peter said unto him, Lord, we, why can't, why, why cannot, why cannot I follow you? And I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered, Will you really lay down your life for me? He says, I assure you, the most solemnly I tell you, before the uh, rooster crows, you will deny me completely. Disown me. Says, you will deny me. Completely disown me three times. Amen. Three times. <laughs> we must be sold out. Yes. Amen. That's be it. totally sold out to Him and not change. And that comes through relationship. Mm -hmm. And let the Word grow roots in you so that nothing can change you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And stay the same. When people turn their backs on the king. Some of the elements in today's world. People turn their backs on the king. People turn their backs on each other. Yeah. There's rage. Everywhere you go. Everywhere you see. Mm -hmm. There's rage going on. Yes. Praise God. Jesus triumphal entry into Jerusalem. Jesus comes riding into Jerusalem in humility. Humility on a donkey yeah. colt. Mm -hmm. While the people are going through before him praising God and proclaiming with a loud voice what a wonderful what a, for this wonderful miracle Jesus 
have been doing. Amen. So once again, we welcome him as king. And he comes humbly riding on a coat, uh, a donkey. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Let me read this to you in the Amplified. Luke 19, 30 and 40. As soon as he was approaching Jerusalem near the descent of the Mount of Olives, he, an entire multitude of the disciples, all those who were to claim to be his followers, began praising God, mm -hmm. abandoning him enthusiastically and joyfully with loud voices for all the miracles and works of power that they had seen, mm -hmm. shouting, Blessed, celebrated, Praise is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace in heaven and glory, majestic, yeah. splendor in the highest heaven. Some of the Pharisees in the crowd said to him, Teacher, rebuke your disciples for shouting these uh, messianic praises. Jesus replied, I tell you, if these people keep silent, says the stones will cry out in prayer. Praise God. Woo, hallelujah. So, we're to find Jesus being abandoned, being praised, proclaimed as king of Israel. Still, the Pharisees tried to make him, tried making him to put a stop to it. Yeah, yeah. Amen. He says, if you stop, he says, the stones will cry out. Mm -hmm. I don't want to see a stone take my place. Yeah. Amen. I can praise him and worship him, you know, and I don't need no stone doing it for me. So daily, choose daily to honor him, giving him your best, withholding nothing. Just like we do when you give yourself to whatever workouts you do, whatever it is that you like doing, and you give it all you got. Yeah. Well, give it all to him. Seek him first. Yes. Give him your all. Yes. Give your all, totally surrender, and commit yourself to him. Just like he did for us. And Jesus rode in, many gathered and threw their coats and palms, branches into the street and shouted praises. It was the popular thing to do. Later at the trial, they shouted, crucify him. It was a popular thing to do. Crowd pleasers, people pleasers. Yeah. We're just copying. Yeah. Amen. But we didn't, we're not to be crowd pleasers yes, and people pleasers. Amen. Another right. popular thing to do was to make Barabbas, a mass murdering criminal, their hero. Yeah. They shouted, we want Barabbas. Mm -hmm. They also shouted, crucify Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. So just think what he went through, the ridicule yes. he went through, the humility. Yes. Amen. Thank you. At the parade, it was popular mm -hmm. to offer praises. Everyone was doing it. Mm -hmm. At Jesus' trial, no one spoke out for Jesus. Mm -hmm. It was risky and life threatening. Who's watching? I'm not going to raise my hand. <laughs> I'm not going to do anything. I'm not going to say anything. But that's what some of us do sometimes. The worst thing is a defeated Christian. Yeah. Not saying anything. Not doing anything. Yeah. Here doesn't say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not popular to go with the flow. That's it. Just go with the flow. Mm -hmm. Many come to Jesus expecting everything to go good. But when the bottom drops, guess what? Yeah. <laughs> That's it. We often ask, God, why? Mm -hmm. Things are not supposed to happen this way. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's just thank God for this Palm Sunday and this Holy Week. Father, we just thank you for your precious word. Lord, help yes. us to be hearers and doers of your precious word. Yes. Father God, thank do you God. receive it? Do you receive it? Yes. You got to say, yes, I yes. receive it. Thank you, Lord. And it blesses me. Praise God. Amen. So Amen. praise God. Some of you Amen. never asked Jesus in your heart. Now's the time. Don't put it off any longer. Amen. All you have to do is say, Lord, have sinned against you. Come into my heart. Be my Lord and Savior. And yes. it's that easy. Yes. And he will. Sure and start living for him. Amen. Start serving him. Amen. Yes. Just hook up with a church. Yes. That's Bible based. You know, where they teach the word of God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And you can do that. If you hurt him, just place your hand on, on your body. The Bible says, by Jesus stripes I am healed. Yes. Amen. I don't receive no malfunctions in this body. This body is a temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. And everything functions as 
normal the way God created yes. it to function in Thank Jesus you, name. Thank you, Father, from head to toe. Touch those people within the voice, within my voice, Father God. I've been watching, listening, Father God. And by Jesus stripes there, healed. Heal. The spirit of infirmity, we cast you on. We command yes. you to go in Jesus' name. Loose them, Lord. Thank you. Heal them, Lord, in Jesus' precious name. Yes. Amen. Amen. I receive. Amen. Say that. I receive. I receive. <laughs> Praise God. Time to give. Those of you watching, listening, you still want to give. Your tithes and offerings, just go to our website. It's on the screen. Uh, NBCBigBen.com. And uh, those of you that are mailing it. NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. God loves you, we love you, and happy Palm Sunday to you. God bless. Thank you. He is so Lord. Oh, I did forget to do I didn't go in. Hallelujah. Let me have a thing, Jen. Got smooth it, it went up. No, it's on. Come here. I need you. Is there room? Can I go up there and get the hmm? Yeah. Get the yeah. Room?